In this video, my friends, we're gonna talk about inventory accuracy, how to track it and how to improve it, whatever you have a retail business like this one or you have a warehouse or a factory. So I'm gonna teach you with a step-by-step -step Excel tutorial that you can download below this video, how to calculate very quickly this inventory accuracy. And I'm gonna give you also eight reasons why is it so low, why is it so inaccurate. Like for example, for the retail business in the US, we only have 65% of inventory accuracy. So I'm gonna teach you how to track it and improve it. Okay, so before going to Excel, what is inventory accuracy? Uh, it's basically the difference between your inventory records in your IT system, your ERP, WMS, or even your Excel spreadsheet versus your physical inventory in the real life. So for example, if we take this uh, retail uh, example uh, first, we do have, for example, this uh, al almond milk with chocolate. It's a perfect fit with crispy uh, croissant. <laughs> and so we have in, in the system six quantities and in the real life, you're gonna check counting. You have six quantities, so there is no gap. Your accuracy is 100%. And then we're gonna move to this product. Uh, in the system, you have eight quantities, but in the real life, you're going to call that you only have five quantities. Be very careful. This is not the same product that the one on the right. It's, the, it's a different flavor. This, this one is maybe vanilla and this one is strawberries. So be very careful. It's a different count per barcode and item number. And in this specific example, we do have a gap of three uh, quantities. Then on this example, you can see that we have zero on your shelf, but we have in your system four quantities. So the gap will be uh, for quantities, we can have another impact on the sales of your products. I'm going to get back to this just after. Okay, so another example in your warehouse or factory, this is exactly the same uh, principles. Uh, what do we have in this example? We have two quantities in your system and two in the real life, no gap. In this one, we have seven in the system and five, so we have a gap of two quantities. And in this example, let's say that you have one other quantity in this palette. But in reality, you have zero. Why? Because we don't find the same item. Uh, so maybe there is a problem with the delivery. I'm going to get back to the eight reasons why you have a poor inventory accuracy just after the Excel tutorial. Okay, so same principle, but just different quantities and items. And why is inventory accuracy so important? So important because if you want to have a profitable supply chain, you need to improve the service of your customers and reduce the cost and the inventory you're going to invest, especially inventory value. And if you have a poor inventory accuracy, you're going to crash this three KPIs, to be honest. For example, if I go back to the retail example, let's say that you were supposed to have four and you have zero. If you don't have the correct quantity, you are not going to replenish your products to this store. So technically on the system, if you, for, for example, I recommend you to watch my video or to track your availability rate, you will think that you are under, you have 100% of uh, availability rate in this specific example, but in the real life, you don't have any products and you are not replenishing your products to make sure you have product to sell to your customer. So you're gonna lose uh, quantities for your inventory uh, accounting, but you are also going to lose a lot of sales because you don't have the right quantity to replenish to your customers. Okay, so now how to track your inventory accuracy. But first of all, you need to check your inventory. Most of the time it's quite manual. You're gonna count your products and then you need to calculate. So now let's go back into Excel to calculate together. So in Excel, you can download this file just below the video. I really recommend you to practice with me. It's pretty simple to be honest. You just need to have the list of all your products, item numbers. Maybe you can add the category or the sector. If you have a warehouse, for example, sector one, two, etc. Then you need to have, okay, but what was the inventory uh, value in quantity and, uh, and value before uh, checking the, the inventory? I really recommend you to do this process of checking of what we call stock taking while your, in your warehouse or your stores is closed because if you have any movement, it's gonna be a mess to be honest. So do it at night or maybe during public holidays or during a Sunday if you don't have any activities. And you're gonna check and double check if you have the same quantity than in your system. I recommend you as well to have the what we call the cost uh, price, the cost of goods uh, sold, uh, to have the value of this inventory. And then you can just multiply the quantity by the value. First of all, what was the value of your inventory before checking? And what is your, the value of your inventory after checking and stock taking all your inventory? I'm gonna give you advice how to improve this stock take process just after. Then you have the quantity gap and the quantity gap is simply the difference between 
these two numbers, minus two, minus five for this one. You can also find more products. For example, in this one, you have plus two products, etc., etc. So at the end, you just do the sum of your quantity gaps. You have minus 20 quantities versus IT and real life. Then you multiply your gap multiplied by the price of your products. So minus two multiplied by $10, it's gonna be minus $20. You do the same for all these products. And then once again, you do the sum of all these gaps. You can have positive values and negative values, but I can tell you most of the times you have less inventory after checking. I'm gonna give you all the reasons after. So you have, we have minus $240. Then I also like to calculate this gap in percentage. So I'm going to divide 240 by the total of inventory I had before. And in these specific examples, I have minus 8%. It's 8% loss uh, just after checking your inventory, which can be uh, dramatic for the profitability of your company. And then we have what we call the inventory accuracy. And the inventory accuracy is 100% or 0% per item. So if my value of IT stock and uh, the stock I'm gonna check is different, then I have zero. If I don't have any difference, it's one, so one means 100%. I'm gonna do that for every item, 100% or zero. You can see it for this one, it's 0%, etc., etc. You do it for every single item you're gonna check, and then at the end, you just do the average. So we do the average of all your items, and in this specific case, we do have 50% of inventory accuracy. Okay, so what is the inventory accuracy once again? It's 50%, but I like also to have what is my gap in value and what is my gap in percentage. So then I recommend you to add um, these specific colors automatically. You can check in the file you can download below the video. Of course, in this specific example, uh, if you don't have stock for these two specific items, I'm not going to replenish and uh, the consequences for your customers will be <laughs> very bad because you won't have any stock to supply and no replenishment for that. And then once you get the principle of the calculation, you can apply it for all your portfolio, all your items. This is, for example, one of the dashboards from my Asymmetrics program for my members. And you can have the total number inventory accuracy. And then I recommend you to check your inventory accuracy per brand, per sector. What is the value? What is the gap for every single team? And what is, what is also your top top 10 uh, gap in terms of uh, value. I like also to provide maps like this one where you can see the inventory accuracy uh, for, for example, all your, um, your warehouse or factory. And you can maybe focus on one specific one and check what's going on and improve your inventory accuracy. Okay, so now you know how to calculate this cap here. I'm gonna give you eight reasons of inventory inaccuracy. The first one is the lack of tracking. Most of the companies, they will only track their inventory accuracy for fiscal reasons at the end of the fiscal year. It could be in December or May and June. Uh, this is not enough to be honest most of the time, especially if you have a big gap. So I recommend to do it maybe once per quarter or maybe twice a year. And also I recommend to implement what, what I call cycle counting. Uh, cycle counting is a process to uh, continuously uh, checking your inventory on the most important product. You can also combine with an ABC analysis please check my video if you don't know what is ABC analysis. If you want to know more about this stock taking process and how to improve it, let me know in the comments and I may uh, record a video for you. The second one is the wrong supplier delivery. Uh, basically, you don't receive the right quantity or the right product, so you should have a clear process to make sure that you double check the quality of your delivery. The third one is quality issues not recorded. You have a product that is broken or maybe a packaging at so many issues, for example, in the cosmetic or retail industry. You have to make sure that you record all these uh, quality issues in your system to fit the right quantity with uh, IT. The number four is theft. Yes, you got stolen. Uh, for example, for the retail industry in California, we have 2.32% uh, of theft, which is a lot. We also have a lot of products that disappeared in our warehouse and factories, so you should uh, be careful uh, with these people who wants to steal your products. Then number five is wrong customer returns. I can tell you my return process was not clear. It was a mess, to be honest, and because most of the time this is not the priority of the company, but if you don't have the right product, 
most of the time you have the the wrong code you have the wrong label on the product so it's a very very difficult process to to master but this one will have huge impact on the quality of your inventory number six you have a lack of process and training if you are not clear with your physical process and your it process as well you will increase the probability to have inaccurate inventory and this is what we try to do uh, with abc suppression to provide you tools and methods to improve your performance and quality of work number seven you have a lack of uh, automation in your inventory control of course if you use your only papers to check your inventory it's going to be a mess and you will have poor uh, accuracy but if you use the right system use for example scanner and maybe you already use the technology called rfid a radio frequency identification this kind of technology will give you a lot of support to improve your inventory accuracy and just to share with you a very cool example i like from uh, decathlon so i worked for decathlon for many years this is not a sponsor video uh, but i was part of the project team who implemented this uh, rfid technologies like this tag that will really help you to improve the quality of your inventory uh, because you don't need to count manually. You can use uh, like a racket or this kind of robot now, pretty cool. Uh, that will automatically double check all your inventory automatically. You don't have, uh, you don't need to do it manually. This is a very exhausting process for the team. And I do, I do feel that it's more important than our team focus more on taking care of the customers and also improving your process or maybe focusing more time on your SNP or uh, forecast uh, accuracy as well. So this is pretty cool and I really recommend you to think about how you could improve the, the process to double check your stock in a much more frequent way because if you do it in a more frequent way, you will improve your inventory accuracy and you will also improve the satisfaction and the replenishment of all your products. And finally, the last reason why you have a poor inventory accuracy is because you have too much inventory. If your warehouse or your stores is full of inventory, it's going to be much more difficult to see what is correct and what is incorrect. And I really recommend you to keep it very simple and to optimize your inventory as much as possible. The cost also will be much lower to double check everything. And if you really want to optimize your inventory, I have a new uh, free workshop where I'm going to teach you how to reduce your stockouts and overstocks. I'm going to focus on certain uh, parameters and I'm going to give you the tools, the methods and many examples to improve your inventory and the service for your customers. So you have all the links uh, below the video. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, if you want me to publish new videos and don't forget to subscribe and like, and I see you very soon.